when it's tough fishing like conditions like this do you switch up things and do things differently or, or what what do you go what is your go-to when it's tough like this when it's tough like this i recommend it your 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 weekend angle weekend angler to uh downsize downsize a little even if a quarter inch can make a difference on the bite since it's so finicky and also too when it's tough like this sometimes you want to slow down sometimes i know it's hard for me to slow down but it's to slow down because normally we go 0 0.7 1.0 to get a reaction bite on these fish a lot of times right now with it being finicky because of the water temp being so cool this time of year actually it's 58 degrees in this creek arm um you know you got you got to slow down you know these fish are on the bottom um what's helping us out is that garmin live scope you know be able to physically see them pop their little bitty head up above the the uh the line there the bottom of the you know lake right there and you know they'll pop up if you're going too fast they'll 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 go past it come back and then leave it alone because you're going too fast to slow down that's what i'd recommend like about 0 0.5 0 0.4 my go-to speed on St. John's is like 0.7. That's a good speed for these black crop because most of the time they want, you know, decent movement. They want some kind of movement going on. So, but slow down, slow down, and downsize are the two recommendations I would do. This one here is just straight up John Deere green. Right there, skipper's jigs out of the land. So, so when it's when it's overcast and windy like this, you like darker jigs. Darker, darker black and black and chartreuse or chartreuse you name you know black black light blue and chartreuse a good little color that'll be on the rubber jigs yeah darker for sure and i don't know why it just it, it, it that's the way it is that's on almost any lake almost but definitely here ain't no doubt here well the thing of the thing i tell people about crappie from their tip of their nose to the to their tail their whole entire spine is a vibration mechanism to detect vibration so the big reason why we go with longer poles is one we've got a, a big object coming at them two you've got sonar going you got your trolling motor making you know noise on, in the water the farther away the better off they don't feel that vibration of sonar trolling motor and also two if the waves are banging up against the boat you want those poles out as far as you can go I mean, we got 18 footers too. If we want to run with 18s, but the 16s are easier to net. to to net because I mean, it's they're already out there. I mean, we two and a half feet lost here, so technically we're at about 13 and a half feet off the off the bow of the boat. Smallest men as possible. Blows my mind these big fish get to be small little minnows. Unbelievable! Just tip that moon jig. That color right there is called a pig pen. That's actually after her. She actually came up with that color there. Little suckers, man. They love them. Always put some kind of scent on it, either a crappie niblet or, or a minnow. You know, just just so we could disguise our own scent, our human scent on these on these rigs. So we're running double rigs, like almost Caps and Coleman type spread on them. Keep the success if you're using live bait. Just make sure they're alive <laughs> when you're fishing and check your bait quite often. That's something that Caps and Coleman, that are legends in this sport, does the most of. We fish beside them in the air constantly, changing minnows. Constantly. I bet you they go through three to four pounds of minnows a day. Really? Ooh. Get ready on your two. Get ready on your two. Jane Luke not. Maybe about five, about four or five inches off the off the edge of it. Uh, Since we're fishing so deep, I'll use a three-quarter ounce weight. We use this canine line, I'll tell you what, that's some good stuff. Use the six-pound floor quart. Six pound fluorocarbon is what we used to push with. They got some awesome radio. You ought to check it out just to go bass fishing with it. It's good stuff. That just ain't it because we're on board with them. We just know it works. Here's 
seen. Even with the bottom ring, just a loop knot. 90% of the time, that's what we use. Unless we're unless we're single pole and single jig, we use a polymer. Yeah. We've got this rig right here. Is I, I like to run a hair jig on top. On the 24th right there. Right now, that's the color. Anything yellow on a stained river system, stained water, yellow always works good. Yellow and white, white and in a chartreuse. So the top rig gives it like a teaser. You know, to kind of turn the head of the crappie towards, towards the rig. And then we uh, tag it with a moon jig on the bottom. This is called the pig pen by Skipper's Jigs, the one that Ali came up with a color for that. Again, going with the darker colors with because it's cloudy outside. So and while it's going through the water, I like to have a, at least about a about a four inch leader up there so it gives it plenty of room for that minute to work. And sometimes we're going a mile an hour, so it'll be like a like a trailer up top on it. So it's kind of like a teaser. So that's how we that's how we like to rig it. Here on the St. John's River, uh, pre-fishing for the Crappie Masters tournament, and I will give you three tips that'll help the anglers catch more fish out here on the St. John's. One, most of the time I like to go with the current as much as you can because those fish are actually facing into the current, the river current that's going south to north, and they're waiting for that bait fish to come in. Um, right now, with the temperatures the way they are right now, it's about 59, 60 degrees, these anglers are actually catching these big females in the pads. Uh, we normally fish the ledges here and everything, but it's been a wacky winter already in the month of January as usual, but more so this year than ever. The, the, the bite is tough, but smaller, another tip is a smaller jig. Anything two inches or less is gonna work here because you got the black crappie, smaller mouths, uh, smaller to better, better. And if the bite is even tough like it is right now, I'd even go to about an inch and a half bait. Um, the third thing is, um, you know, a lot of people overlook this, change your line, change your line out constantly because you'll have line breaks and you're gonna get disappointed. So uh, change out your line. Uh, we're using this 16 foot uh, pushing poles. So like to get it out, far out from the boat as much as you can because they're, they got super sens sensitivity vibration. So with all the electronics that we got, dual electronics going and y'all might have the same uh, the farther out, the better. So we run with 16s. We got 18 footers too with HH rods and reels. Um, and you know the main the main thing is keep your equipment. You know, prevent a maintenance. A lot of people just completely forget about that. The, your, your motors, your trolling motors, all that. Um, take care of it. That's the, that's what's going to get you on the water. So that's four tips I just gave you that you'll you'll catch some more fish out. Because without without a big motor or, or trolling motor working, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get on them. So. Uh, this is Eric Howard, Eric and Leanne Howard. The social media is Hurricane Howard, HH Rods and Reels, Foxy Fishing Gear, and Eric Howard and Leanne Howard. So there's five options there. Our, uh, you know, our gear is at hhrodsandreels.com. You know, 15% off each and every day for four rods in or more and or on the reels. So um, bait shots in Florida we're in. We're in um, Bridge Masters, Lake Wells. We're in Fast Breakdown, Okeechobee. And uh, go check those two locations out here in Florida. And uh, expecting to have more throughout the state of Florida here real soon.